25th ranked Oregon beats Savannah State here at Matthew Knight Arena 77 59 Rich Burke along with Lamar Hurt closer than the Ducks wanted closer even than that score indicates. Yeah you got to give Savannah State some credit they played well really ran some good offensive sets but as Elgin Cook told us after the game he didn't feel like they had the kind of energy they needed but you got to like Dylan Brooks energy early on after being sidelined with foul trouble in their last game versus Baylor he comes out tonight aggressive from the start reading the defense back door on the overplays when he gets the ball in the middle Rich he's about as dangerous as any other guy in this conference because of how well he can finish and speaking of danger how about this guy running basically a 4 2 40 down the court beating everybody down At the court six foot ten. and then dunking on you and then stepping out and extending his range I mean, this kid is special, and if he can do this when Jordan Bell returns, then you can play both of those guys together, and that's when you'll really see the best of the Oregon Ducks. Well, the Ducks shot 52%, Savannah State 45%. Oregon was just 2 of 10 on threes in the second half, and rebounds were about even in the second half. Yeah, you know, the three-point field goal one is the one that took them out of rhythm offensively. They're a team that offense is predicated on stretching the floor, knocking down threes, so expect them to get a little better at that. The Ducks now 3-0, and and they next face Valpo here at home, 3 o'clock, Pac-12 Network, Pac-12 Oregon on Sunday.